welcome everybody. We are back here once again, many We're back. months later, uh, going through another another rendition of Dice Throne Adventures. This time, using Santa and Krampus. Yeah, Woohoo. yeah. <clears throat> so we are getting ready to start here. Just scoping out stuff. Uh, haven't looked at any of the cards, so that's going to be fun. It's all going to be a surprise. It's going to be a surprise, and it's going to be great. Uh, so here we go. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Uh, we want <laughs> this and this, and then we do this. Yeah, because we're going to move. Uh, I'm going to move south to get the treasure. Well, so treasure. we're starting here can move to any of the three one spots gonna move south to get this treasure right here uh, yeah so actually moving on to it first gains the treasure so we actually yep. first get to roll for the treasure Let's get all these dice out of the here it's a roll for this treasure 18 oh Ooh, what a way to start Oh, this and that sucks. Was, that was a level. <laughs> it was a level one treasure, so we're already we're already on the common train. I got a four. I mean, that's not bad. It's a plus two damage. Yeah, it's something. I just realized I didn't shuffle the cards, so stand by a moment. Oh, oh are some of the rats? Hang on. Some of the. Upgrade cards are... Are they common? No solo. We can do that one. There's a little bit of everything. Upgrade. That one. Nice throne difficulty? Uh, okay. We'll scope that out another time. All right. Oh, I got to draw a reject. I think it says... Uh, begin the game with the reject card shuffled into your deck into their own pile, then draw one. Perfect. Sargy. Okay. Make your attack undefendable. That's neat. So you can just trigger that when you're doing an attack and make it undefendable? Um, oh, that didn't work at all. <clears throat> Not even a little bit. Yeah, I think you just activate. Taking a common. But I but you have to but you have to discard it versus I do have some moves where I can activate and then leave them all. Sure. Alright. Well here we go. Now we are on the spot. Let's see what we get. What is our location that I probably don't have prepped? The merchant <coughs> stall. Alright. The merchant oh, stall. Oh, I gotta draw cards. How many do we get? <laughs> four. Five, four. So, the merchant stall here says that uh, we don't get any benefits for going there. Uh, then we check the words at the bottom. You may pay two CP to gain one green treasure. If desired, you may sell cards at this time. Uh... I don't. I don't think I want to do that. I, I don't want to do that. Uh, and then it spawns us a green minion. So if you would do the honors of spawning a green minion, we are getting. Who are we versing? Ooh, ooh. Oh. How do you tell if it's a new one? Oh, there. Dark Druid. Dark Druid. It starts with first strike. Is that a new one? First I think this is a first strike. <clears throat> I don't think it is, but it is a legacy one, so I must have got it. Oh, okay. Let me last finish. All right. Dark Druid, you say. Okay. Cool. Changes forms. It's neat. <clears throat> Boom. All right, so he has 11 hit points. I had a dial here somewhere. One, one. 
three CP. There we go. And three CP. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Looks like the CP probably won't matter, but uh, he does have first strike, so he gets to you get to roll for him first. His passive at the start of your turn, start of your turn, roll a die. Uh, on a one through three, become bear. On a four to six, become elk. Mark the active form by covering its head with a chaos. All right. We are becoming <clears throat> a bear. A bear. All right. He's a bear. So why don't you go ahead and go ahead and roll for him? He was looking for three right. three vortexes. <clears throat> we all know how I roll. <laughs> this this is how you roll. Nothing. No vortexes. There they are. And three vortexes. <laughs> Splendid. <laughs> All right. So three vortexes activates his spirit strike. If bear is bear, inflict <clears throat> knockdown and deal six damage. All right. So I'm over here like, what's knockdown? <laughs> <laughs> Knockdown's oh, wait, the. Uh, Remember my handy stat chart. Do you remember pistol? Oh, it doesn't work out. Yeah, it's the one where you gotta. That's yeah. You gotta pay two. Uh, yeah. All right, only activate after <coughs> of your nice offensive ability. No, one more time. No, twice. Wow, well, no, that doesn't help me. All right, so six, uh, six damage is coming in. It's not undefendable, so I get to roll my defense of four dice, and we'll see what we get here. We've got two axes, which does nothing, and two bells that get two eggnogs. Uh, that was instant. I need three eggnogs to be able to spend, so I take six damage. Neat. I like that. Starting off. Starting opening. Off opening uh, destruction. Oh, the sound wasn't working for that. Why did that? Whatever. Not important. Uh, okay. <coughs> so it is now my turn for retaliation. My uh, mythic ability that we are using says that during the upkeep phase, I gain an eggnog. Eggnog. So there we go. So now I do have three, and I can spend three at any time to roll a die, and I can either end up doing two damage to an opponent, healing for two and gaining a CP, or healing for two and drawing a card. Neat. So I will gain a CP, since it's the start of the turn, and draw a card. We gotta double up. Um, we're at three CP, unfortunately. Um, <coughs> let's see, if your opponent's naughty, becomes undefendable. Dang. Um, so your opponent must apologize to you for being naughty or else receive two more damage. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, I, I do want to get this out, but I have to pay two in order to attack him. So I think we will... I'm going to spend one CP to double up because that gets two cards, and so we're kind of in the, kind of in the positive. Um... This gets an extra die for the same things. Uh, I feel like that's not worth it with having all of this. So I'm going to sell Egg Noggin at two to gain a CP. So we're up to three. Um, we want to keep that. Uh, it's pretty good. Okay, we. I'm going to sell one more time. It'll be fine. So that puts to four CP. Uh, I'm going to spend two for naughty or nice two. And then I'm going to spend two to get rid of the uh, two. Should be a zero. I saw it on Facebook, but if you look at the naughty or nice card, it's uh, it's got the creator's names in that little list there. Oh, it sure does. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, got rid of that, uh, and now we will roll. Let's see what we got. See what we got. Ultimate. Ultimate. Boom. 
Wow, not close. All axes. All axes. Okay, so uh, looking for eleven. If we hit naughty or nice, that would be eleven. Um, wow, yeah. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> yeah, but we just have some trim your tree, and that's not that's not really good enough for here. Six, seven. Oh, I just noticed like. When it says place a chaos on this guy, if he's a bear or elk, now I actually see the shapes. Mm -hmm. Catching on. Yep. Um, let's uh, let's just try all this again. <laughs> what do we have here? Um, a two, three, four, five. All right. We'll we'll hang on to that. And we will try this for the outside. Nope. Okay. <clears throat> so if that was a six, then we'd get there. You don't happen to have a tippet on you, do you? Um, <clears throat> nope. Cool. Okay. So we got rosy cheeks. We will gain a cheer. Boop. Then deal six damage plus one per cheer so it'll be seven damage to the spirit strike right yeah yep seven damage so you can roll for his defense of four dice uh, uh, nice. it's four four dice He's bear. If bear. So he's going to be hitting back. I might just die from this. Nothing. All slashes. Perfect. All slashes. Perfect. He does nothing. And he takes uh, seven. So he down to foe. Um, gained yeah. two. Yes. That is my turn. So now it is your option. Where do you want to go? Uh, <coughs> let's go. Do I want to go left and down. Does get toward the salve. I, I would not be going here after my thing. Assuming I survive the next turn. <laughs> Let's go. I think we go left and down. I'm not going to go. I think the bottom left of the map is unnecessary. And this one here? I think at least, yeah, at least left and down to get the portal shard. All righty. So we would <laughs> go left. Let's see what. Oh, come on. What oh. you've got. <laughs> Everglade Stream. Mm. Mm. Everglade Stream. Oh, look at that. We still get a treasure. Oh, be on the right thing. Oh, not that one. Oh. <laughs> How do things? Okay. Uh, all right. So you gain, or we. We gain a green treasure, spawn a green minion, and the minion gains first strike. Awesome. Of course. Awesome. So a level one treasure. Heal. Oh, Ooh, that's a 20, right? One away from yes. healing. That's the 20 on this dice. I draw a card. Ooh. What do I get? Rare. Rare. Shuffle these up. All right, then who is yo minion? One second. The green one, right? Level one. Correct. <clears throat> uh, I'll just put away up here. <clears throat> and the green minion is going to be Lizard Man Classic. Lizard Man.
Oof, with first strike. It's tough in the streets. All right, 15 health for this guy. So since he's got first strike, I get to roll against you. Veteran. Uh, all right, so he is going for two slashes and a chaos in order to get his chomp. Getting his chomp on. Chomp on. Two slashes. Up. Oh, oh. No chaos. Up. A. Nice. And he has no penalty or anything for whiffing his attack. So you are good to take your turn. All right. I'm up. <clears throat> Let's see. We got some cards here to play. <clears throat> oh, it's way off. That's okay. Well, I get a free upgrade. Scavenge to Scavenge 2. What does that do? Uh, it is my first. This is that move I was talking about where it's kind of the first <coughs> thing I want to do. Uh, gains three gifts, and gifts are basically uh, what I use to get my rejects into play. Mm. So I change scavenge to scavenge two for free, and it gives just eliminates one more dice that I need to do it. So instead of getting three presents, I just need to get two. Cool. But the same outcomes. I get all three gifts and then some CP and a card draw right off the bat. That seems neat. That's like a yeah, it's a turn one thing for sure. <clears throat> um, and then I'm going to go ahead and spend one CP to where's my CP dial? It's gone. Right next to That's your right there. Right there. Yep. It's kind of hiding in there. <laughs> um, to upgrade misbehaving and misbehaving too. It's a small straight. Um, I gain a gift, but the damage goes from seven to eight. We'll get that off right away. And then we're going to roll. All right. What's up, Magic Moose Move? Uh, I don't <clears throat> really know yet for Santa. Um, I pretty much just opened the box, and here we are starting. So uh, I've had one turn with him. Um, so far, I got hit for half my health. Uh, that was pretty cool. And... Here we are. So we'll see. We'll see. Time will tell. But it okay, looks let's neat. See. One, three, three, five, six. What does this give me? Not much. Just a basic SWAT. Um, like I said, we could keep the present. SWAT. And your your current guy lets you uh, make it a current redirect is Sarji here. Um, when activating, it makes your attack undefendable. Okay, neat. Um, how much damage I do? 15. We got a 6, which doesn't do much for me. Ooh, bad tidings. Okay. Let's keep the 6. Let's keep the present. We're going to roll the rest. Ooh, we got a bell. Sorry, jingle, switch, and horns. <clears throat> that gives me bad tidings, which is distribute three coal among opponents and deal two collateral damage each opponent per coal on their board. So I could Ooh. kill your guy. Uh, he has my guy has four health left. So if I were to distribute three coal, <clears throat> give him two, then deal two collateral damage to each opponent per coal. Per coal? Per coal. Um, oh. Or. That's neat. Yeah. Yeah, that's. We could keep. That would, I think I'm gonna start with that. I think that's a good opening here. <coughs> that would that would keep me keep me in the game a bit. Yes. We're gonna do that. Bad tidings. <clears throat> Locking it in. Alright, All right, so then we distribute three coal. 
So I'm going to distribute one to Mr. Lizard Man, two to your druid. Okay. And then deal two undefend two undefendable collateral. Or just say collateral, yeah. yeah. Deal two collateral damage to each opponent per coal on their board. So that is four to the druid. Mm-hmm. Kills him. He gone. Uh, when he dies, we get two green loots. Nice. Sweet. Put him back. Krampus dice look like they should taste like a good sour apple. Let's see. Time is it, Tom? My goodness, you are not wrong. Ah, uh, no, no, don't do it, Cloud Art. <laughs> I think the one, two, threes are hard to see. I may, I don't know, maybe get a darker brown on them. And maybe In contrast a little bit. Um, two greens, right? Yes, two greens. So I've got a four and a, an eight. So four gets me the plus two attack modifier, and the eight gets me a card. I got a nine, which gives me a health. I like that. Plus two attack modifier and a card. And Twelve is a gold. Really hard to see on the metal dice. Yeah, I when I was seeing some pictures of those, I. I really like the idea of them, um, but I don't want to... <laughs> I already spent, you know, I have so many dice trays, but I needed one with the Dice Throne two, logo. and yeah. Two to the <laughs> Lizard Man, so he's down to 13. Down to 13. <clears throat> and then it's back to me to finish up. Yes. Um, main phase two. <clears throat> I think I'm going to sell Dottie's diversion because I don't have Dottie out and I don't know how fast that really goes so I'm just going to sell it now for a CP and then <clears throat> I think that's all I can do I was about to say like I'll draw up ready up <laughs> yeah not, not up quite floor. and I think I'm good okay why don't you take your turn I'm going to go uh Check on my kid real quick. All right. So we are back to me. Uh, the the only metal dice that I have are for Trip Lock uh, from Chip Chip Theory Games because uh, there's like three or four dice that you roll in that, and that was like the last component I needed to have the entirety of the game all totally decked out. So um, those are the metal dice that I have, but they aren't going to work for anything else. Uh, okay, so I don't have an enemy in front of me anymore, so I can move elsewhere. I could either go and help him fight the Lizard Man, or I can go scope out this uh, green one here. I think I am going to go scope this one out, because I don't want to deal with potential knockdown again. So we'll see. So here we are. We're... In there, we're bumping the camera thing. Totally professional. We love it. Love to see it. Here we go. What do we got for us today? The cul-de-sac. Oh, that was right on top. How about that? Perfect. Oh, that just reminded me of a thing that I'm not doing. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Goodbye. And we need to get back to I have to click so many things to make this fun stuff work. Uh, all right, so at the cul-de-sac, we get one CP. Huzzah. We discard one card and a positive status effect. Haboo. Um, uh, I really want to I really want to keep my extremely naughty, but I think between Twice as wild, try, try again, getting paid and so wild. I need to discard this. <laughs> oh, bummer. Uh, and then a positive status effect, we're going to drop an eggnog because we get those back every turn. 
Um, and then we have, oh, Blunder's not here for the enemy. I should have gone to the other one. It uh, doesn't matter. We'll check in with chat. They roll well. No metal, no metal dice, because then you'd have to buy all future metal dice. That's a good call. That's a good call. Um, back 20 strong? Yes, I did. I, I, was, I was in straight away for 20 strong, for sure. I have all of the Too Many Bones content. I have all of the Cloud Spire content. I have all of the um, Burn Cycle content. Yeah, I'm, I'm what you would call a fan. So yeah, when when it was a, a cheaper solo game, totally, totally in. Um, yeah, it would be cool for the metal dice, but man, that's a that's a pretty costly increase there. All right, I drew the fairy. Another fairy. first strike. Boo. Okay. Well, we'll see. Coming in with nine. You weren't familiar with the other IPs? Um, I haven't played Hoplomachus. That's the only one of their games that I don't have any experience with. Uh, but I own all of their other games, uh, including Game to Pick a Game, which is awesome. But I, it's one of those things where like I have faith in those guys because I love all of their games. So I, yeah, I was, I was all in. And then Manny, them talking with Manny, um, who did the art for this game. Was he he has made um, some art that's going to be going into the game, and in the future they're going to be working with him to have like this new world uh, that they're going to be having a deck for. That uh, I think it may be set in the same universe as the Wonderlands War, um, which he did the art for. So it's it's pretty cool, and it's kind of mixing. It feels like it's mixing my favorite dice thrown stuff with one of my favorite developers. I, I'm excited. Gonna be awesome. Uh, okay, so back to this though. Fairy gets first strike and they are going for straights. Blunder, you are back and ready to roll? Yep. Alright. They're looking for straights. So the AI will keep two through five uh, unless the one or six makes the uh, straight three four five three four five two three four five bummer and two, okay three three four five two three three four five so they are rocking in this small straight for five damage <clears throat> so i'm going to be doing uh i got one cp Oh, remember when I dropped the eggnog? Yeah, that's feeling good. Uh, okay, it's all right. I will. I'll survive this. We got. We got tricks. You, you gained your eggnog, right? Um, no, mythic. it's it's not my turn yet. <laughs> they had oh, fairy right. has first strike. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm supposed to roll four, not five. Darn it! Cheater. Yep. Okay, I get a an eggnog. All right, I think I am. There's five coming in. I have seven health. I'm gonna immediately spend the three eggnog and roll a die. Hup. Ooh. Ooh. Heal two and draw a card. Neat. Nice. So suddenly that five becomes three damage. I'm so sad my push, push isn't working. Um, and then I draw a card. Transference. Neat. And it is now my turn. The new deck is not going to be part of the Kickstarter. The Kickstarter is only going to be their new Solar Sentinels IP, and then the deck from Hoplomachus, and the deck from Too Many Bones. Uh, they do have plans to, as long as it does decent, which it outsold a lot of their other <laughs> things already, um... Uh, they do plan on continuing with different IPs from different companies even, which is super cool. So uh, we'll be looking forward to at least one deck um, in the Wonderlands War universe with Manny's artwork. Uh, and they have, they said they've talked to other people <coughs> and they have some things lined up, but they didn't want to announce it 
announce that stuff yet. All right, start of my turn, I get an eggnog because of the mythic ability, and I gain a CP because income phase, and gain a card. Uh, bye bye. Uh, bye bye. All right, we're gonna start off with. We got six cards in hand, so we're gonna have to use something. We'll just do a getting paid right away for a two CP bump. Um, yeah, let's get something good. What do we, what do we want that we can help us Smack him with? For nine. Smack them for nine. We could probably do that. Uh, reindeer games. Deal four, gaining two eggnog and a cheers. So that's three more things. So be seven, eight, nine. Large straight would do it, and then I'd be stacked with things. Let's go. I'm just gonna go with. I'm just gonna get the large straight real quick. Just a sec. Well. That's uh, not quite it, uh, but we've got we've got cards. Let's just let's just do this. Uh huh. Don't have a tippet, unfortunately, but we needed it. Okay. Uh, then we will do. We'll just do a so wild for this, because it's only one die. I got four CP. 2 CP for so wild. Set this bad boy to a 4. Nice. Boom. Reindeer games. No big deal. So we got gain a cheer. And 2 eggnog. We've got stack limit of 3 on the cheer. 5 on the eggnog. So we are good there. Then deal 4 damage. Plus 1 per eggnog. And plus 1 per cheer. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I can keep my plus <clears throat> 2 attack modifier. Oh, maybe <clears throat> not. Maybe not. They might... Ooh. Ooh. They will. <laughs> oh, confounded. I didn't look at their defense move. I'm real good at this game. Okay, so uh, they well, get to uh, roll... The plus, two, the plus two is an attack modifier, right? Yes, it is. <clears throat> I guess it doesn't really matter. And that's going to... If they if they successfully prevent three, plus two is not going to get there. Uh, All right, there we go. All right, what do we got? Two vortexes. Two vortexes. Four, four dice. Easy. Four Easy. dice. Nothing. Not a single vortex. No vortex. Oh, thank you for that. All right. Like I said, because I know how to play the game, I'm going to keep this plus two attack modifier. We're going to do nine damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wobbsh. You gone. Uh, Smack to the face. Yep. Our reward is a... God, this, this darn headset is like peeling. Our reward is a green... Um, treasure. Green treasure, green treasure. Go, go, oh, loot. Eleven. Twelve. Another gold. One gold. So, two gold to the board. Should bring us to thirteen. Oh, you had rolled a gold before? I got a gold on my last loot roll, yeah. Gotcha. I missed that. <clears throat> Alright, we are at thirteen gold. Sweet. Alright, so that's loot die done. Uh, do I have main phase two stuff? Certainly not. That is going to be it for me. He gone. It is back over to you, sir. All right, it's me in and which, Lizard Man. In which case, Lizard Man has first strike because the darn thing is awesome. Uh, hang <coughs> on, hang on. Wait. Round yep. two. Round Light. two. <laughs> there we go. Uh, all right, so I am rolling for him. He is going for two slashes and a uh, chaos. There's right. those. Imagine a dice thrown 20 strong. Oh, that'd be so good. I mean, it would be a little sad because it's a solo game, but eh, I'd still play it. Yes. And he whiffs again. This lizard man is not very dexterous. No, he's not. You're All weighing right, him down up. with coal. <clears throat> All right. Let him have it. All right. We need our CP. Make sure that works. Good. Draw a card. Vegas baby. Why not? Let's use that right away. Oh, wait. What do I do main phase? Oh, that's my gifts. I don't have any. Okay. Uh, we're going to use Vegas baby. Roll a dice. In FCP. Get some. Uh, five, so that's what, two? Three. Three. Half round up. 
Five or six is what you're looking for. And then we're going to roll for our ability. I love so that your your 14. defensive ability is deviled eggs. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, the cool thing about the encourages rejects is it does damage based on how many I have out. I oh, need yeah. to get these gifts going. Starting with one, two, three. No, sorry. One, two, five, six, six. We are going to keep the sixes and gamble. Those off to the side here. We got a. There's one more. Um, I do have a try, try again. If you, I mean, I got a, I got a samezies, so I can oh, always okay. get a mini alt here, which okay. would not kill them, but I got my, I can activate my Sarge to do nine undefendable. Um, I think activation's free. Each reject may be activated once per turn, provided an immediate effect to provide immediate effect. Then you just discard it when you use it. Mm -hmm. and three is your limit. Okay. Um, <clears throat> roll one more. Okay. I will spend one CP on same these. Do you change one of these? Do you this. want um? Do you want a try try again first to potentially get for the alt? An alt. Um, and that would fill up your rejects situation. You draw them and you activate them. You'd smack them real hard. Uh, it's up to you. I mean, if you got the CP to burn, you only have two. Yeah, but yeah, it's fun. I, I mean, <laughs> I gain a gift, which gives me a reject. I draw a reject on my mini alt. Oh, the, the gift gets you a third? Yeah. Okay. The gift, um, it's during my main phase, so I can actually spend it after my roll phase here. And it gets me a reject. Okay. So, save your, save your thing. All right, you got it. We'll spend mine. Make sure it works. Same as these for another six. Giving us spoils. Spoils. Gain a gift. Draw a reject. Let's put them up here so I can kind of like, it's like my army. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are going to get, please don't be Dolly. Squishy. Activation effect. Play only after being attacked and I can prevent three incoming damage. Squishy. Okay. Um, and then inflict two coal. And then deal nine damage. Um, which, if we weren't playing like hardcore mode, I would not worry about it. But I'm going to use my activation effect on Sarge to okay. make it undefendable. Um, make it undefendable. So that is nine undefendable damage to the lizard man. Brings him down to four. And what was your um, your mythic ability with the? Th it was three coal for something. Um, four. So four. the the main the main idea is four coal regardless. Um, okay. But it's if it's four coal and they try to gain a CP. Let me read it. The next time the player with four of these tokens would gain CP, they must first remove all the coal, then reduce the amount of CP gained by one. So even in like a income phase, they would skip over the, the coal or the gain if they had four coal. Okay. Um, but my mythic would then just deal. I could choose to remove them and deal three undefend three isolated damage as undefendable. Okay, I see. All in right. In this case, we do nine undefendable, so down to four. So back to me. Oh, I was going to spend my gift, wasn't I? Oh, right, 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 right. Might as well spend that. Yep. <coughs> and then we'll get us another another reject here. 
and you didn't bring out. you didn't shuffle in the one you just discarded, right? Nope, nope. Okay. Wormy activation effect: perform an additional roll attempt up to five dice during your offensive roll phase. Cool. Now I am good. Okay. Um. So I am at the portal. Uh, do I want to try for this two guy? I'm down to four health. I kind of want to heal up. This guy can deal six and knock down. Uh, <laughs> I can heal to um, okay I'm gonna go for the lizard man that yep. that way you can be first into the level two thing sure <clears throat> so you can roll for lizard man All right. I think I, I have a plan for... we'll see if it see if it works Two swipes. Okay. No chaos. No chaos. Yes. Once again, Lizard Man does nothing. I love it. All right. I gain an eggnog and a CP and a card. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Okay, let's make some magic happen. Get it? Because he's Santa. Uh, okay. One, two, three, five, five. Um, All right. Uh, three. Yeah, okay. Maybe. Yes. We're going for it. Going for it. That's the one. That's Ooh. the one, baby. <laughs> Naughty or nice? Uh, I will target the lizard man. I mean, this is super overkill, but... Yeah. That is okay. That's all right. Uh, all right. I roll a die. On a one through six, they're nice. On a four through six, they're naughty. Naughty. He's nice. So he gains a CP, puts him up to three. Good job, lizard man. And then he takes 11 damage. Uh, I unfortunately cannot make this undefendable, though. So you do get to roll for his defense. Okay. Of one, one single dice. die, you are looking for a swipe. That's a chaos. That's a chaos. That means no damage back. He gone. He did nothing. He did nothing. He showed up to the game and didn't participate. Okay, that didn't quite work. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> all right. First strike. Gone. Chomp, chomp, nothing. Too slow. Uh, we get a green loot. Fiver. Also fiver. That's a CP for us. That's a CP. Okay. Whoop. Stay. CP. All right. Main phase two. Nothing. I shall do nothing. I don't have... I'm not exceeding six, so I don't have to discard anything. I don't want to anyway. Uh, so that will be my turn. Okay. So it's now up to you with this open board. Do you I want to... Going left, right? Going left? Yeah. Okay. I think so. Otherwise, I mean, I got a lot of health. I could start the three guy. Yeah. Or what do you I, think? Hmm. Um... 
Okay, so here's my thought. <clears throat> I don't have as much health. I do have a salve. Uh, if I were to be the first one to go in here, I could get another salve. Um, but the salves only heal for three currently. If you were sure. to go to this one, if I don't end up helping you, then this would make the salves worth four. And I could maybe use a salve to heal up a little bit and then go and get this salve over here. Sure. I like that. Does that seem kind of sort of? Yeah. All right. We have our first wedge of cheese. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Oh man, I'm going to lose that way. And we are scoping out a blue, <clears throat> excuse me, a blue location. Uh, let's see if, um, hang on, uh, <laughs> include, yep, um, yep, okay. It's working, it's working as intended. Level two. Yep, pro streaming. So we're just, you know, making sure that everything's all super hunky-dory. And, oh, look, we're ready. All right, here we go. Level two, what do we got? <clears throat> the Stained Pyre. Okay. Stained Pyre. Thank you, Spinner. Oh, no. Everything's ruined. Okay, there we go. Fixed it. <laughs> uh, all right. So, Stained Pyre. We don't get a bonus, but gain two gold and spawn a blue minion. Alternatively, okay. receive three undefendable damage and explore an unexplored adjacent tile. So, we could spawn a dude mm. here. Or you can take three damage and skip this one entirely. And then move on to the next one. Mm. Wouldn't gain the two gold. Or whatever treasure reward for sure. defeating the dude. Oh. I have 14 health. This one's kind of a tough call for me. Especially, a tough call. <laughs> especially with, with that much health. It's like, I mean, three is like three damage is like a, a defense roll. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm ultimately could just take that at some point. Yeah. Especially on a, uh, like on a level two minion. Yeah. So you're getting something. probably going to take more than three. I think I'm going to take the three. Okay. And explore the second tile. There. Okay. Sounds good. So I just have to re take one, two, three. Re-click through all this stuff. No big deal. All right. Here we go. Explore in South. It's a solar burst, which of course is not the one there, but the one here. Okay. Solar burst. Okay. So, this one we do get an immediate two gold. So that's something. We're like up, that? We're up to 15. What? Oh, with your things on there? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you and a chosen teammate discard one positive status effect and gain blind. Oh. Ugh. There's one damage modifier. By Ignog. Blind. I hate blind. Blind's the one where we still roll, but then we have to do like a one or a two to make it activate. Uh, on a one or two, it whiffs completely. Okay. <clears throat> All right. It's you versus a blue level two minion. We got. What do you got? We got a shadow sword. Shadow sword. Fourteen health, three CP. Oh my goodness, <clears throat> he doesn't have first strike. What? Yeah. So all I need to do is 14 damage and then not be blind. Easy. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. I get to go first. CP? Oh, he has Parasite. That would be amazingly bad for me. <laughs> <laughs> Draw a card. Give a little. For zero CP, I can discard a gift and deal three undefendable damage to a chosen opponent. Hmm. So I throw a present out. Yeah. It's a bomb. Candy Graham for Mr. Mongo. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and roll because I don't have a gift. Get him. 14 damage. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, one, two, three, four, five. We did get a large straight. A uh, large straight is rejection. I can either draw a reject or I can activate one without discarding it and deal nine damage. Ooh. And you have extra roll and extra defense right now? Yep. Yep. I feel like act um, activating <clears throat> either of those isn't really going to help. No, but I could draw one. That seems good. And then... But it does not activate. Well, I guess it would activate because it's in play right away. I can't, I can't be doing that. Let's lock that in. So rejection, we draw a reject, or we activate one. We are going to draw one. Draw it. We are drawing... <coughs> Spr sprongy. Sprong, sprongy. Sprongy. His activation effect is inflict two coal and then add one damage. Hmm. Inflict two coal, add one damage. Okay. So, <clears throat> we Man, do nine damage. Hitting into that one where you deal extra damage per coal. That'd be a yeah, pretty right. good time for that. <laughs> All right, we are going to now do nine damage. Okay. And it is defendable, yeah? Yes. Okay. So he has a one die defense roll, and he deals half the value as damage rounded up. So he is back striking you. Hup. For one damage. Like that. Let's take one damage. And you got in for nine? Um, yes, and why don't we... Oh, wait. Got to roll for blind. Oh, I got to roll, roll my blind. Shoot. Four. We good. Get out of your blind. <laughs> All right, so we did nine. Um, yeah, I think we just we just do nine. Okay. We're not going to activate anybody. We're not going to do any of that. We're good with nine. Sounds good. So that brings him to what five? Right down to five. All right, now he gets his attack. He's going for all slashes, and if he gets three of a kind, he inflicts Parasite, which Gross. you have gifts as your only positive satisfactor, right? Yep. Okay. But yeah, they're that's... unique, so does that oh, still count? They are not positive satisfacts, then. Then, I, then Parasite does nothing to me. I love Parasites. You can have mine. <laughs> I eat them. I'll transfer them to me. <laughs> Can that be done? No, they're unique, aren't they? Uh, no. They're negative satisfaction. Give me, give me. All right, so he is hitting with Parasite. Right. That's fine. And that's, that's fine. it. So the basic cyst attack. <clears throat> Five yeah. damage. It is three of a kind, though, so he does inflict Parasite on you. Got a Parasite, and then he's doing what? Five? Five damage into your defense roll. Okay, defense roll. We get three dice for deviled eggs. Double two switches. Two switches. Um, we inflict call. On a present, we gain a gift. On um, horns, we do one damage per reject. That is three damage. Dang. We get all switches. So on two switches, we inflict a call. And that is it. Okay. Um, he has call. You have five damage. How do I... So, my reject, it can only be played on a main phase. Would this be considered main phase then for him that I could play this? 
Um, How does that work? Uh, no, he should. It's a, oh, it says play play after being attacked. Yeah. So I could play that and reduce it by three. Yep. So I will take two. Two damage. I like that. Neat. Two nice and cute two damage. Just a little little tap. All right. And then that is, oh, that's it, yeah. Okay. Perfect. So I am up on the board here. I could either uh, come down uh, here and uh, help. I got an AFK again. Okay. Uh, but I don't think I want to do that because then we're going to be in the same situation of, ooh, maybe I do want to do that. And then he can go get this one, and then I can go get this one on the singleton. Hmm. Um, yeah, that, that. We'll do that. I'm going to go here. And then we are going after the Shadow Sword. Okay, so we have a blind, we gain an eggnog, we gain a CP, we gain a card. A little helping hand. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do we risk the... We have 5 CP. Risk the blind. Yes, because I can re-roll the dice. Yep. We absolutely risk the blind. All right, let's see what we get here. Hmm. That's almost festivities. All players gain a CP and then deal enough damage. Did he... No, he prevented damage. He didn't deal damage. Okay. Um, let's see... Yeah, I think we have five CP, twice as wild. That feels like kind of a waste. Um, but everybody gaining seems pretty good. Till damage back. Actually, I think I probably want fireside chat to try to get in for the undefendable <laughs> or holly jolly but that's that's not really that necessary okay I think we're gonna go for fireside chat and redo all this mm. 5 CP all right Blunder's not here to say, hey, that's a terrible decision. So let's do it. Okay. So. Let's see. Do we use a cheer? I think we try to save the cheers. And... Do a try, try again for one CP. Come on, baby. Yeah, perfect. Perfecto. All right, fireside chat. After targeting an opponent, you each roll one die. If your rolls equal or greater, deal six undefendable damage and gain a cheer, which is the one that I want. Otherwise, deal eight defendable damage and gain an eggnog. That's the one I do not want. Um, so. First, we'll find out what it is. What it is. Equal to or higher. So I will deal six. However, I need to roll for the blind. On a one or two, the whole thing whiffs. It's a four. See ya. And six undefendable damage. And gain a cheer. Huzzah! We're so happy. We got our eggnog, we got our cheer. It's going to be great. All right. Uh, so we get him. His five health is negative one. And we get a blue loot for this guy. 
Let's see what we got. 15. Blue loot, 15, two gold. All right, puts us up 17. That puts us into the uh, into the next threshold here. Oh no, Blunder's feeding the babe. All right. Uh, well, then I guess I'll have to just entertain everybody. <laughs> we'll see how well that goes. Uh, all right, so I don't want to spend the eggnog right now, even though the gaining health would be nice, you know. Um, but I don't. I don't immediately need a card. I don't immediately need a CP, and there's no opponent that's out to take the two damage. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, these are hopefully going to be used to get a six for something like Naughty or Nice. That could be good. Um, and then we have the plus two. We have the salve. We are sitting at four health. Oh, I think I was looking at this health instead of my health. And whoops, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we've got some good dice manipulation stuff and defense thing, which will keep us alive. We've got a decent amount of CP. <coughs> I'm pretty set. Pretty set right here. Um, <clears throat> okay, so for when Blunder gets back, he is owed a blue treasure from that shadow sword uh i am going to start his thing let's get this gold out of here and uh he would be going over here so he will also gain this salve put these here for him and he will also gain this blue treasure so he's gonna get to roll two blue loot I will roll the one blue loot right now. That's not the order to do this. Here we go. Huh. 14. It's close to what we just had. And 14 on a blue loot is two gold. So we go, boop, ka -ching. Up to 19. All right, so depending on his roll, maybe we'll put us into the next gold threshold. Otherwise, we'll just be chilling here for right now. Uh, Let's see. Oh yeah, we gotta flip. We gotta flip and do this whole thing. <coughs> Excuse me. While we're here, I can turn this back on. Uh, okay, we are on a blue. Let's see what we got. The Lone Road. Lone Road. There's just one. It's alone. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, let's let's do this and this and this and back to here and over here. All right. So he will gain two CP. And he will discard one r card randomly and a positive status effect. Oh no. I'm not sure if he has any gifts left. Um, actually, I don't think he does. Otherwise, Parasite would be more sad because he does have Parasite. So, uh, probably not going to have to discard the status effect. But discarding a card randomly is always no good. Except if you don't have any cards. Then it's, you know, whatever. All right, and we're getting a level. No positive status effects, one card. All right. Perfect. Well, not perfect, because you're losing the card. The gift bomb. No. All right. Well, at least you will be getting two blue treasures and a salve. And going up against... Not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> this whole flipping deck I shuffle, and that's the one that comes up. Uh, these other promos are for purple. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try this one. Dark Panther. All right. S sort of works out. Because we're going to come back here. He has first strike. 
So we are up to nine health. Uh, he's got four CP that doesn't matter. Uh, and he is going for the slashes. Okay. Here we go. Swipes. Swipes, not slashes. Swipes. Terminology. Oh. Wow. That's, that's a thing. All right. Uh, there's one. Two, three. Four. Bummer. My bad. My bad. Uh, four deals seven damage. Three of a kind is bleed. It's not three of a kind. You're welcome. Uh, so it will be seven damage coming your way. I am now out of things I can do for... I mean, I guess I can technically roll your thing and your defense thing since you won't have a card... But then it'll be it'd be your turn to do the stuff anyway, so whatever. Whatever. Alright, where were we? Okay. So first things first. You will roll for two blue treasures. Oh, yep, yeah, let's do that. And you will gain a salve. Like I gain a salve for sure. Yep. Ugh. Ten. Dang, dude. More health. Three more health. That's awesome. We can we can heal up to twenty-three. <clears throat> and then sixteen. Three gold. Three more gold. Puts us in the next tiered threshold. That's good. All right, that was the stuff from the board and me defeating the guy on your spot. So now you have wandered into the Dark Panther, and he has attacked you for seven damage. It is defendable. All right, seven damage defendable. Um, so we are defending two dice. Defense. On two switches, we inflict a coal. <clears throat> and then on six, we deal one damage per reject. One undefended. So two damage back. <clears throat> He's down to seven. And then you take seven. Woof. That hurts. Is it on the four? And he takes what? Uh, he takes two. I, I could use my not this time to prevent six of that damage for you. Oh, I gotta, I gotta discard a card, don't I? Yeah, you do. Okay. Do, do you have? <laughs> Do you have other ways of healing with your ability things? I think I might have a reject that heals. Okay. I think. I think uh, outside of that, no. Since I do have healing stuff, I think I will use the not this time. It's a chosen player prevents six incoming damage. So you can you can heal six. Alright. All right. Oh, yeah. Thanks, thanks. There we go. Not this time. Up to ten. One CP. All right. Then you can take your turn against the Dark Panther. Ooh. All right. <clears throat> Let's roll. Oh, I need to do some stuff. Yeah, CP. you can gain your CP, CP and a card. Yeah, you do. Uh, I got an instant action card. One CP. Regift. <laughs> this card can only be played when activating a reject. Do not discard the reject when performing its activation effect. Neat. Okay. Um, so, we need to do three damage and get a reject out of here somehow. So we're going to go ahead and roll. 
So if you can get rejection again, that's good. Um, Cause that'll at least. You'll have the damage. Yeah. This needs to do three damage and some sort of reject. Why three damage? <clears throat> That's all the health he has, right? Uh, no, we are on a Dark Panther, not the Shadow Sword. Oh, jeez, jeez, okay. Shadow Sword is gone. Uh, He's gone. He's where? Okay. After your counter from the defense, um, Dark Panther is down to seven. Now we're, back. now we're on the same page. There okay. Go. So I need to do seven damage with the reject. <laughs> yes. Um, with this roll, I shall. Two, three, three, four, six. If you end up only getting in for five, I will use my eggnog to potentially deal two more. Okay. We're going to keep the two switches and a bell. Let's see what we can get with this. He does have a coal on him as well. Okay, that's right. Um, we got six and a bell. So we have two bells, two switches, and a six. That gets us, is that Rotter? Rotter? R-O-T-T-E-R? Um, if I lock in that and inflicts a coal, deals eight damage, and then we roll one and we do some stuff. Um, let's do that. So I'm going to lock in that. Okay. Um, so we'll start with inflicting a coal. We're going to do eight damage. We roll a dice on a bell. The one thing I don't want to get, it doesn't do anything. Oh, no. Um, wait. Perform an additional roll attempt up to five dice during your offensive roll phase. That's what Wormy does. Um, it? or is that not an offensive roll phase since we locked in the ability? I don't think you can use it for that. Sure. Makes um, sense. so that because that would be like, uh, one more time is getting an additional roll attempt sure. during the offensive roll phase, but you have, um, you yeah, you've already activated the thing, yeah. so you're oh, not. Makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. All right, so it's, then it's a save damage. All right, so he gets a defensive roll Dope. of one die here to <laughs> to inflict bleed. <laughs> No bleeds. On a swipe, we've got a single bleed. Bleed look like it's the hand. And then he takes eight. Oh, loud kid. Shut up. And he got um, him. He got him. And you got I'm your... noticing my coals don't really do much right now. You got your bleed. Got my bleeds. Okay. But we do get a blue reward. <clears throat> fifteen. I think that's the I third, third fifteen I rolled. Two more gold. Nice. Lots up, of gold. Up to twenty-four. Before we better one. Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> I've, I've been there, like doing something else and <laughs> rocking that little bouncer with their foot. And <laughs> he's almost in like the personal bouncer. Like he sits in there and he enjoys it, but he doesn't quite have enough space to. Kick. Mm. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, then it's my main phase two, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, which I don't have anything, anyways. So. Okay. We're good. My turn then. Uh, let's see. I can either go and gain another salve or go gain a another piece. We've got I'm assuming you're going to... Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think 
I will uh, probably go get the salve. Sure. Down here. <clears throat> That'll put me at two. Just don't get first strikes. Yeah, right? <laughs> Easy. Uh, all right. So where are we going? Oh, we're back to the first. Okay. Stand by. Just a moment. Yep. And open the first one. Oh, I remember. I had I did this did these on different tabs before. That was that was the ticket. Next time. Uh okay, let's see what we got. Twisted vines. Okay. So, we gain one gold. I like, I like. Puts us to 25. We need one more to get to the next threshold. I gain entangle. That's not fun. I remember that's the one where you get like only three, two rolls. Yep. Uh, and then a level one minion. What do we got? Here we go. We are going up against with the Acolytes. The Acolytes. <clears throat> Doesn't have first strike. That's good. Twelve health. All right. We'll deal five undefendable damage. Whoa. And if they roll a six, then they turn into a level three minion. A uh, yikes. And they can deal half of the incoming damage back to your attacker. Gross. Gross. All right. Well, we'll see about that. You got uh, a lot of stuff on your board. I do, I do. I'm, <laughs> I'm ready for things to happen. Okay, first off, gain an eggnog. That puts me at stack limit. I'm at stack limit for both of these things, which is pretty cool. I gain a CP, puts me up to foe, and draw a card. Rude, rude Ulf. <laughs> uh, attack modifier plus one damage per cheer. Okay. And I'm at four, that's enough for a twice as wild and a Rudolph and a plus two. All right, let's see. <clears throat> let's see what we roll. Well, Ooh, well. Let's see what we roll. I mean. Okay, yeah. We have uh, twice as wild in hand, so. Can we do it without having to spend the twice do as wild? Oh, wait, wait. Do uh, entangled. I can't oh, roll yeah. this. But you have four eggnog, or three cheer, right? I do. Um, that, just, that just changes it to a six, doesn't it? Or does the eggnog do that? Oh, that's true. So three cheer... Would change it to a six. Um, oh, wait. 10, 11. Okay. I think I'm going to go for Jolly Holly. Before that happens, though, I'm going to spend three eggnog because this can, this can happen uh, at any time. So I will roll a die. Perfect. This deals two damage to him as an isolated thing. Puts nice. down to ten. Um, 
I am using... You know what? Since this gains two cheer, I may as well spend one to try to reroll this. <laughs> okay. This still works fine. Yeah, we'll do that because we hadn't gained any of our things for here yet. So, all right. Uh, cashing in those eggnogs brought them down to 10. Comfort and joy now gets me those max eggnogs back and deals 10 damage. And then I can target the same opponent with an additional offensive roll phase. But they are defeated. Yeah, don't even need it. Um, do I get it, though? Questions. Because if I get it, I can try to get another cheer. <clears throat> if your opponent is defeated, the additional roll phase is forfeit. Bummer. Oh. Alright. Good to know, though. Uh, it's still... That's fine. It's still worth it. Then we're all in on here. The Entangled goes away. We still have the plus two attack modifier. Only down one cheer for that. That's amazing. Um, he doesn't get a roll because it's ultimate, so he just takes it. And we get to level one loot. Tag. <laughs> did, did I ever set up a thing for ultimates? I don't think I did. Uh... No, I did not. Okay. I got a 13. One gold. I got a 7. 2 CP. Neat. One gold, you said? Yep, one gold. Okay. And then, ooh, I got a CP. And 16, I got two more gold. Whoa. We're up to 28. <laughs> I'm so sad. Uh, that's my oh. Tired. Oh, you just tired. Yep, that's you my go. Stupid. You're up, up here. Where are you headed? Headed down. Uh, we going oh. down. Yeah. Okay. We got another shard of cheese. Uh, like okay. that. Then. Um, so oh. It's okay. He's excited for the spinner. Ready? <laughs> A reflection. All right. We'll see if luck is on your side. <laughs> So, all right, hold on. <laughs> crabs. I'm gonna go set them back upstairs again. Okay. Do you want to a... roll a? I'll roll full arm. It's fine. Uh, so he rolls a die on a one or two, gained concussion. On a three to five, spawn a level one minion, and on a six, gain a CP. All right, I'll roll for him as the bad guy. A four spawns a level one minion. Of course. All right. So we're gonna shuffle these bad boys up. And we're probably going to end up drawing one that we've done already, because that's just how this operates, but... We'll see. <laughs> I was shuffling. How about this one? Okay, we haven't done this one. Lost Swordsman. 
strike down here. He doesn't have first strike. That's good. He's got 11 health. And... Yeah, he's going for some swipes. This is like the most basic dude. Like, I don't think there are any other cards that are more vanilla than this guy. Where were we here? Um, uh, we, flipped the, we flipped him, right? You, yeah. You had ended up going up here. I rolled for you. It spawned a dude. It's the very basic Lost Swordsman. Uh, and he does not have first strike, so it is your go to mess him up. Okay. Alright, uh, um, <coughs> CP card. Oh, double up. Oh, wait. Uh oh. What do we do? Do we break it? Okay. Nope. We're good. <laughs> okay. Just had um, a hiccup. Let's use, let's use one of our 10 CP to draw two cards. That seems all right. The double up. Sprongy surprise. So Sprongy is into play. Ooh. For two CP. If I activate him, he'll add additional damage for each coal that the opponent is inflicted with up to four damage. Dang. So instead of inflict, so is it both? His activation is inflict two coal, then add one damage. Then this says add one damage for each coal that opponent is afflicted with. This card may be only played when activating Sprung. So does it take over it? It's probably in addition to... So he's he's hitting for two per one per coal. The activation effect just adds the damage. That's it. Two coal adds damage, and yeah. then the card allows me to do damage per coal, and then transfers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, I got to roll for bleed. Yep. Or I could spend. No, I got to do bleed first. Uh, what is it again? Five or six? It drops off. Um. Yes. <clears throat> Maybe just one six. Through four. One through four. I take a damage. Five through six. It falls off. Yeah. I take a damage. Um, but then for two CP, I'll just transfer it to the swordsman just to get rid of it. Okay. I'll use some of that CP up. Give him the bleed. He's got bleed. Um, That's like some crazy magic. You know, your arm is cut, and you're like, <laughs> nah, let's put this cut over there. And then their arm is cut. In the same spot, the same kind of cut. Yeah. That is <clears throat> right. some wild transference for sure. And then we have two cards. Da, 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 we're going to roll. Switch, 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 five. Hmm. Got 12 health. 11. 12 oh, health. you, you. Oh, yeah. No CP. <clears throat> this does six damage if I keep it. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. We're going to keep those two. We're going to keep two switches. Let's keep a two and a three. Roll again. Same thing we got, so we're going to roll one more time. All right, that's not what we wanted, but we'll make it work. So, one, two, three, four. This misbehaving. Gain a gift, deal eight. <clears throat> I like that. One, two, three, four. 
Um, if I do eight, then I could do nine <clears throat> with Sprongy, and then inflicts two coal, which then I could spend two CP as an attack modifier to do two more damage, which could kill him as long as he doesn't prevent anything. And you you could use your your instant one on the left too, right? To make it so when you activate him, you don't discard him. True. He's up that CP. I like that. Let's do that. Unless, so we're gonna lock in. unless you think it might be better to save it for somebody that potentially heals you. Um. Mm, that's a good point. I I haven't looked at them, so I don't know what they do, but I would imagine that there's. I'm pretty sure it's a healing one. Pretty sure. And I think there's one where it adds like a defense dice. I think is the other one. Um, yeah, let's save the worm. Or not the worm, but my regift. Let's keep this. So this is going to be slot. Uh, or sorry, misbehaving. Got some small straight misbehaving. Locking it in. Gain a gift. Um, oh, you have that <clears> plus <throat> two attack modifier, too. Oh, which, which means you would have taken a damage at the start of your turn. Because that's, that's right. That's a positive set effect. So. All right. Um, and then I deal eight damage. He's going to roll. Okay, sorry. Okay, that's, that's to me eight damage. All right. So he rolls three dice for defense. We got one of each. On this, deal one. On this, deal one. On this, prevent one. So he hits back for two, and he blocks one damage. Okay, so we are doing seven currently. <clears throat> okay. Is I that, need to do 11. Is that with his defense? Yes. Okay. So seven. We're going to activate Sprongy. Okay. <coughs> flick two coal. And add a damage, so we're up to eight. Um, and then we're going to spend two CP for an attack modifier. One, two. Mm -hmm. um, so we're up to eight. This adds one damage per coal. So it's two more. He's down to one. Start of his He's turn. One. Start of his turn, bleed is going to trigger. And as long as I don't roll a five or six for it, then he will bleed out. <clears throat> Unless you want to... Or I'm going to spend the two because I have Parasite. That's a good call, too. And that'll kill him. You got it. He gone. He gone. So we get... Should have just saved the transference. I guess it saves me a... It saves me a roll of bleed. Yeah. We get a green loot... All right. Green loot. Oh. Red loot. Three. Another plus two attack modifier for me. Seven plus two CP. I got it back. Jeez. <laughs> I am at my limit for attack modifiers. Nice. <laughs> I need to like hit something, I guess. Um. And then it's my main phase, so I'm gonna spend my gift right now, right away. Bring on another reject. Okay. There's my healing one, Mr. Bitey. Nice. Activation. Heal two and add two damage. Dang. That's one we're going to want to activate twice. Yeah, for sure. Do not discard the reject when performing its activation. So it doesn't necessarily mean you do it twice. You just get to keep it and do it again your next turn. Right. Yeah, because I think you can only activate one per turn. No, you can activate... Oh, each one can be activated once per turn. Yep. Okay. But you have to, it's just determining whether or not you discard yeah. or not. Right. So oh, I just flipped over the last one. Oh, uh, the last one's just more damage. Okay. Um, and that is my turn. Okay. So then we're back up here. Um, let's see. I have four health. Uh, I think 
at the end of your turn, uh, before your turn ends, I'm going to spend three eggnog <laughs> to roll a die. That's not the right die. I wanted that number, though. Perfect. Same number. Uh, I heal two and gain a CP. <laughs> Sweet. Nice. Mm. And mm. <laughs> gain a CP. Perfect. Okay. Now we're up here. Um, so now I'm at six. I do have two attack modifiers. I have a bunch of CP. I've got twice as wild. Rudolph for two extra damage. I think I go for the three for. Whoop. All right. I'll we'll gain the salve. We'll get our last ticket out of here. It's our ticket to the multiverse right there, baby. Um, all right. <laughs> Too much Marvel Champions. Um, here we go. So, save this. I think they updated the um, the spinner thing, so you can actually save the color now, <laughs> which normally when I switch between them I have to reset the color, uh, sure. and I think they have it where you don't have to do that anymore. I mean, I came up with all of this stuff. Spin the wind. Spin to Cascade Canyon. Aye. I read that. <laughs> oh, I better not lose all my aspects. <laughs> oh. That's a tough one. Oh my. Can you use them? Can you use them? Well, they're instant. Might as well try to use them. Um, I can't. And I'll tell you why <laughs> because I am sitting on you're like short one of each two eggnog I would get the third at my upkeep I don't have upkeep yet and two cheer to reroll dice no dice yeah. oh that hurts oh I came here specifically for this that is Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> my my plans. Oofta. All right. Remove all status effects from active player. Draw three cards. Yay. Well, at least you get that. Better D. Maybe I get maybe I get them back. Rebel without a clause. That it could get quite a few of it. And samesies. All right. How? Um. Okay, we need a level three minion. There we go. All right. Yeah. Oh. The hey. chimera. Not the health. Twenty health. Four. Man, we've hit so many like promo slash legacy things. Right. They give better rewards, but they're tough. Man, what happened? I like... I feel like I have a sliver or a paper cut on my knuckle for some reason right now. Ah. I don't like it. Alright. 20 health. They don't have first strike. That's good. Just double ultimate and it'll be fine. Um... On a failed offensive roll, roll a die. On a swipe, begin a new offensive roll phase. Once per turn. So they... He essentially has a... King's Hand to help him on his turn. On a swipe. Yeah. So 50% chance King's Hand. Cool. Okay. He can inflict poison. Well, we don't want that. All right. Start of my turn. Let's start building all of this back up. Gain an eggnog. Uh, do I want to spend a salve and heal for six? 
That'd be worth. He hits for three. Can potentially hit back for three. I would have to choose salve at the beginning of the turn. I got three. Yeah, let's... I'll use a salve. Two, three, four, five, six. Mmm. Uh, mm. Okay. A CP. Boop. Up to eight. Draw a card. Jeez. Oh, okay. Let's start with Rebel Without a Clause. Nice. Is the promo card. So I roll a die on a star. I get good stuff. Anything else, I draw a card. Cocked. I was just I was just talking <laughs> about right. the cocked die situation. It's a faulty dice tray. <laughs> Can you use your eggnog to re-roll, or do you need three of those? Uh, need three. It's the cheer for the re-roll. Oh, cheer. Um, none of these cards will help me with that. So I draw a card. Santa's Helper. Discard five eggnog to heal two, draw a card, gain mm. a cheer, deal two to a chosen opponent. So that triggers everything. Wow. If I have five. Interesting. You would have had five. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's. We're at eight. I need to get down some of these cards. Let's use Vegas Baby and roll a die and gain one more CP. Yeah, Vegas. That's, that's how it works sometimes. <laughs> All right. So, Rude Alf is only going to help if we gain cheer. So that's only going to matter and be worth it if we hit Jolly Holly. Uh, twice as wild we have and samesies. Okay. Let's do something. That's almost this naughty or nice. It's 11 to 13 damage. <clears throat> Twice as wild, samesies. We are almost to the boss, though. Alright. I'm gonna keep this. Sweet. Oh, that's two, three, four, five, six also. So I can either do Naughty or Nice, nice. which will probably be the thing, or Reindeer Games. Gain a cheer and two eggnog, then four damage plus one per eggnog and cheer. So it'd be four, five, six, seven, eight damage versus minimum eleven. Yeah, we're gonna do naughty or nice. Yep. I mean this gets more resources, but yeah, that's how's we going. Alright, after targeting opponent, roll one. I choose you. They're naughty. They gain a cheer. <laughs> I feel like you did like a, a sound for that, like naughty. Yeah. <laughs> or the uh, the guy from Courage the Cowardly Dog. I couldn't help myself but be naughty. naughty. <laughs> uh yeah, these don't these don't help right now. Um, okay, so I am attacking him for 13 damage. He gets a defensive roll, unfortunately, of one die. So why don't you hit up with that? Gotcha. Man, we are looking for anything. A swipe. Let's go swipe, please. Swipey. Thank you. That is one damage back. I like Ooh. Ooh. Uh, and then he takes 13. So he's down to 7. <laughs> that's that's a huge hit. That is. <laughs> uh, you like that. None of these help. 
unfortunately, I now just have to discard down to six. So we're keeping that. Better D doesn't matter very much for me. Uh, two. Um, what about what's transference do? That's only from you, right? Three. You can't take his. You can't take uh, his cheer. From a chosen player to another chosen player. That's a good call. Uh, uh, yes. Hmm. I mean, this guy does have poison. I do have bye bye <clears throat> though. Yeah, I have. I got nine CP. Let's Easy. go. Uh, two CP down to transference to take that. He plays. There's six. Getting rid of better D. Uh, I don't know if I'll get up to five eggnog again, but just in case. Uh, better D really isn't going to um, right. help all that. So, And we gain one CP for selling a card. We're down to six. Uh, it is now their turn. So you can roll for this. They're going for three chaos. Three chaos. Easy peasy. There's one. There's one... I'm okay with them missing this. Okay. And... Miss. Okay. On a failed offensive roll, roll one die. On a swipe, they begin a new offensive roll phase. On a swipe. Okay. Roll them all again. One. There's one... There's two. Two. Uh oh. <laughs> no more six. No more six. No. Yes. No. Whifferinos. All right. Uh, so that's their turn. It is now your turn. Wee wee wee. Um, I think I will. Do you want to get you, right? Or we can go for this and get the uh, blue treasure, blue loot. I'm thinking from a healing standpoint, if I could use Bitey twice in that one fight. Hmm. Uh, is that does that add on to your attack, or is that just a <clears throat> um? Like a main phase type thing for Bitey. Uh, activation effect heal two, add two damage attack modifier. Okay, so you do have to, you do have to do. I the gotta attack. roll first. Yeah. Um. It's up to you. I mean, I'm I'm sitting at eleven. Um. You're sitting at six. Got a couple. I have two salves left. You've got, what, th three salves? Or two salves? Two salves. salves. Two salves. <clears throat> and a parasite, which is not a big deal for me. Um, if I go to Chimera, we kill him. I can mm -hmm. still use Bitey. Even if I overkill him, I could just add it, right? Or is yep. that not a thing? Yep, okay. okay. It might be worth just doing that, then I have it into the next fight. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just do that. Let's not take the chance with that level 2 loot and just go right to join you and just clear this guy. Okay. <clears throat> we in there. Okay. And you are up. CP card. Better D. Uh, that's all I gotta worry about, so we'll go right into rolling. <laughs> the best D is kill them before they can attack you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> six, six, four, four, four. Ooh, I do have a offensive, uh, perform an additional roll attempt with Wormy here. But then I won't be able to heal. Why wouldn't you be able to heal? 
I can only act. Oh wait, no, I can activate them all. I just gotta discard them. Yeah, you can only so, activate each one once. Yep. <clears throat> Let's keep the sixes. See what we get here. Okay. One, three, four, six, six. Um, I do have twice as wild, which I can use on you. No, I, th as, I think I got it here. Um, as a potential option. That, that, this. We're going to go for bad tidings, so it's one of every symbol. I just need to roll a five here. Didn't get it. <laughs> but we did get Rotter, which would kill him. Mm -hmm. So we will lock that in. Okay. Uh, inflict a coal. Cold up. And then deal eight damage. We roll a die. Again, on a four, you don't get anything. <laughs> of course. Um, so let's do that. Okay. Um, so he gets his defensive roll. Yes. Of a one die. One die. Got a swipe for dealing one damage back to you. Okay, I'll take that. And then we will re-gift, which is an instant action for one CP. Or, sorry. <laughs> yes, for one CP. To use Bitey's activation to heal two and add two to the damage. So one, two. And then Bitey stays in play. And you are in for ten, which is I'm enough. In for ten. And then... That kills him. He go. We get a gold loot legendary card on the first thing. That's gold awesome. Loot. Oh yeah, it's not legendary card, it's just gold. The... gold. Yeah, lame. I ain't get a chance. You gotta roll a 20. Oh! <laughs> 19 pack. Three. Lame. Alright, so you get a common card and I get an epic. Epic. I already shuffled all these. Uh, common, uncommon, or rare. Epic. Okay. Get out of here. And then, do I main phase two anything? I don't think I need to do anything. Okay. We're back to the board. Back up here. All right. Um, I'm sitting at 11 health. I think we just go for it. Straight you think so? To the boss. You yeah. don't think we? You don't think we go for this blue loot? Or the five point bonus of clearing all the rooms. You want to clear all the rooms? Uh, not necessarily. I'm veteran. <laughs> <laughs> five points. Um, I I would probably be cool with doing the blue loot because it is a level one dude or a level one tile. Sure, and you'll smack him for one, yeah. anyways. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Going for it. Wah. We get a blue loot. Hup. 14. I get. I got us two gold. It's a niner. Yes, two health. Good, good, good choice. Oh, yeah. Wait. What did I have? 14? I was looking at. Oh, yeah, I was looking at the right thing. Yep. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, so we're at 30 gold. Almost there. Dang. 
So one more puts it over, right? One more right. puts Hold us on. into the next five, yep. All right, so we'll... Feels like a lot. Yeah. One for five, <laughs> I like. Okay, so we're back to level one tiles. <laughs> you... I'm gonna let you take your turn. I'm gonna just go double check on my kid. He's fine, but I just wanna make sure he's good. Okay. And we've got the stained altar. Which is on the board. This one? Nope. This one. Yep. Okay. Here, here, okay. Stained altar. Gain two gold and spawn a level one dude. Otherwise, receive two damage and explore the adjacent tile. So it's the same as the stained pyre, just the other, or kind of downgrade. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I want to do that. I think I do want to go after the level one guy. Uh, so that'll gain us two gold. 32... Ooh, ooh. <clears throat> All right, I already hit shuffled. Dreg Lackey, not first strike. Huzzah! So we'll come down here, give him 12 health. One shot him with naughty or nice. Maybe, we'll see. Okay. Uh, start of my turn, I gain an eggnog because of the mythic ability, and I gain a CP, and I get a card. Gang deer. <laughs> Gang deer. That's good. Uh, alright, attack modifier. That sounds good. Same to Santa Sulper, yada yada. Alright. Let's go. <clears throat> the drag lackey, huh? Yep. Classic. Eight. He's got twelve health. So many ones. Alright, I'm just gonna keep two of these. That's not sixes. There's one. All straight. Small straight. Uh, that would be a cheer, and then eight damage. Um, can I get four more on there? Or I can same Z's and hit them with naughty or nice, which will most likely kill them. Or I could save the same Z's and the twice as wild for the boss. I feel like saving it would be fine. What does he? What does he do back in defense? Uh, he can prevent damage and then steal gold. Okay, okay, this is fine. Uh, small straight is rosy cheeks. Okay, I gain a cheer, then deal six plus one damage per cheer. So that's eight damage coming to him. If you want to roll his three for defense. Gotcha. <clears throat> three dice. Two vortex, one swipe. Uh, so he will prevent two. All right. So we're getting in for six right now. Um, 
going to spend one CP for Gang Deer to roll five dice. Each axe is going to add a damage. Of course. So that's two damage. <laughs> but on double bells, gain a cheer. Nice. Puts to three cheer. Uh, so this was six, seven, eight. And then Rudolph for one CP <laughs> is going to add one damage per cheer. Uh... Oh no, that's... That's 11. That's 11. Boo. Um, I'll spend one... So I've already, I've already spent for Rudolph. We're at 11. I'm going to spend one for Helping Hand to have him re-roll one of the Vortexes. <laughs> Since okay. this is all kind of in the same <laughs> phase time. Swipey, swipey, swipey. Got... Got a swipey. Yeah. All right, that Thanks makes it in one. That makes it twelve. Then, <laughs> <laughs> got him. Easy. And I keep all my goodies, and had yeah. gained more even. All right, uh, so we get a green loot. Thirteen. One gold for me. And I got a gold as well. Bringing us to 32. 34. 34. Alright. Um, gold display. That is going to be it for my turn. Still sitting good on ultimate situation happening on the boss. And it is your go. Going for it? Okay. Um, I think so. All right. No better time than now. It's true. Zoop. Bum, 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 bum. Boss <clears> portal. <throat> you gain two CP and three gold. Nice. Puts us over into 37. Like that. All right. So we spawn a level four minion. Which is going to be on you, and they gain an additional King's Hand. Let's pick this one. Yumbra. Uh. <laughs> Doesn't have first strike, but this is the guy that goes into shadows, and that's yep. that's not good. <laughs> 25 health. Okay. Ooh. I can buy buy the shadows. Neat. <laughs> 10 okay. CP. Yep. Which won't matter a big deal. for us, probably. Alright. I'm up. Get after it. CP card. Uh, don't forget your flip ability on your uh, character <coughs> thing, too, because this is the last battle. Oh, sure. Okay. You may activate up to three rejects this turn without discarding. In any order. It doesn't say what order, so I guess I would be able to pick. I, I have a feeling... So it, that's saying for the turn. Um, mm -hmm. So it wouldn't it wouldn't necessarily have to be like if one of them is main phase and one of them is a uh, offensive role ability or um, attack modifier uh, role phase action thing. Mm -hmm. um, you could do both. Because it's not. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like the entire turn, they're yeah. able to be used at least once. Yep. It's not. Uh, it's not activating each of them, just allowing them to be activated gotcha. throughout the turn. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we drew our card, got a CP. Try, try again. Um, so let's just get into rolling. Let's 
Uh, I need to do 25 damage. Yep. Uh, one, one, four, four, five. Let's keep one of everything. Bad tidings wouldn't be bad. It's not a lot of damage, but it's going to stack that coal. My active ability just does damage with coal, so I'm okay with that. So let's keep those. Okay. There's our sixes. I got two sixes. Um. Do I dare try going for more sixes? This was roll two? Yep. Mm. I do have a try, try again up to two dice. Plus my wormy, which would be another roll. Or I keep it and I just stack the coal. I think I'm just going to play it safe. Okay. Um, so we'll keep bad tidings. Distribute three coal. Nice. One, two, three. Um, and then deal two collateral damage to each opponent per coal on their board. So that is six, six damage. Six damage. He can't do anything about. Brings him down to 19. And then... Do I want to activate by here, or do I just want to... I want to like I, burn the coal, then flip. I think, yeah, I think maybe you, <clears throat> maybe you wait because you're you're sitting at nine. <clears throat> mm -hmm. He can only potentially hit you for five. Sure. This sure. turn, so we'll be okay. Yeah. And we can burn salves too, right? Yep. At the start they, of your they, turn, they re uh, they reset no, though, right? No, no. no. salves okay. salves carry over. That's right. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll be good. We're good. Okay. Sounds good. It is his turn then. So he is rolling for vortexes. We got one. I bought this long pack and play because this kid's super tall. So then he just like shimmies and then just goes perpendicular with it <laughs> and then he just gets squished right in the middle <laughs> yep my son will sometimes do that like on his twin bed or whatever small type of bed mm -hmm. thing it is uh, instead of laying lengthwise he lays yeah. uh, horizontally so like his feet are sometimes hanging off the thing <laughs> come on man uh, we did get four so he is dealing five undefendable damage gross Ugh. Undefendable. Alright. There's really not much I can do about that. He, just take it. he did not go into shadows, though. So that's One, good. Two, three, four, five. Brings me down the four. Alright. I will move whoop, and join you. Okay. Ooh. Welcome. Uh, start of my turn, I gain an eggnog from the mythic. I gain a CP and card from the income. A <laughs> six. Of, yeah. Oh my goodness. Seven CP. Um, <laughs> two and three. Coming on. That's four dice to be a six. Smack them. Hit him in the face. Uh, my Your flip ass. ability is spending three eggnog, roll the die five times instead of once. <laughs> Crazy. So that's probably going to happen. <laughs> or. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Or. <laughs> oh, God. 
Didn't this happen last time? Of like, okay, I got the cards. We're going for the ultimate. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait for it. Where is it? I can't find it. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll trigger comfort and joy. Comfort sure, and joy. Why not? Um. <clears throat> burn any eggnog you can now i guess yeah i'll i'm just gonna do th i'm just gonna do the three um sure. and roll one can't you like <laughs> can't you like so that heals i heal two and draw a card nice that's that's the instant okay uh heal two Mm, mm. Mm. Uh, and then I gain four eggnog and deal nice. ten damage and it's an ultimate is it, for turn? is it once per turn can you do it again uh, it's, can you spend eggnog again um, yep not once per turn <laughs> nice wow alright so that's a ten pack and then Oof. I attack the same target with an additional offensive roll Oh, this is here's another six right here. All right, <laughs> do it again. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try it anyway. You can roll five. <laughs> Characters are broken. Uh oh, <laughs> we already got it, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um. I'm not even gonna be able to play against this guy. Twice as wild. In the same room. Twice as wild and six it for four CP. Don't you one, have another two, roll? Three, four. No, that was all three. First roll that got none. Gotcha. And that. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. We're backing up, but um, he's got a king's hand to spend. Okay. Oh, that's right. So. We are backing up to the first ultimate. When I trigger the first ultimate, that's right. He spends a king's hand, and based on our scenario, uh, a successful roll is four through six. So Blunder has to roll this. Four through six. Four through six. We don't want that's a four. Four. Okay. So what that does is it makes me re-roll a die. Oh, it's a shame because I rolled a die for the eggnog and got a six. Uh, but we won't we won't count that. So we will re-roll this. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay. Weighted dice. <laughs> um, they and the scenario says max tokens pr used per turn is one. So even though he has another king's hand, he can't use it on this next ultimate that's coming at his face. Too bad. So I'm going to. You already uh, did the four eggnog. Uh, I haven't. I did the four eggnog from the first time, so. Oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, um, so I'm gonna spend. Or wait, did I just get three back or four? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna spend three. For, <laughs> for the basic, of Bell, I heal two and gain a CP. Mmm. Mmm. What a turn. Um, I gain four eggnog. Uh, then I use Santa's mythic flip ability. After spending three eggnog, roll the die five times instead of once. I'm going to spend three more eggnog. And do this. <laughs> But you just get the best of the outcome, right? Uh, it's roll five dice. Uh, no, it was Santa's helper. This card was discard five and get all the things. This flip ability is roll five dice, get each of them. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Um, so I think we're going to spend a CP for Samesies. And... We're going to put, um, 
We're going to put this 3 to a 6. All right. So this is going to be an isolated bit of damage for 2. So we'll start with that, because that would happen yep. first. Uh, I heal for 2, 4, 6, 8. Wait. Uh... I don't want to heal that much. Let's put this back. Because I can only heal to... 20, you can go to 23. 23, which is 8. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're good. Yep. So healing for 8. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> mm. uh, what, so, two sounds, or? so we're back up to full. Like, max full. Uh, I gain 2 CP and draw 2 cards. Up to 5 CP. Oh my god. Okay. Then... <laughs> uh, <clears throat> then the... Ultimate goes through. Hits for 10. Gone. He goes down to 0. We get our reward of the gold thing. Ten. And then we get the play. Ten. <laughs> rare. Just barely barely snuck in the rare. Uh, I got a 14 for a rare. Okay. Um, completing my main phase, uh, I'm going to pay one for Nogtastic to gain five eggnog. And then main phase two, Santa's helper, discard five eggnog <laughs> to heal two, draw a card, gain a cheer, deal two. All right. <laughs> uh, so then I have 5 CP sell bye bye spend 6 CP to upgrade oh, reindeer right. games trim the tree and holly jolly 2 I end with 0 CP um, <laughs> these are all gone this is the board no cards and <laughs> max health that's crazy. Wow. One that turn. Was, that was the turn. One turn. Holy bejesus. Santa hurts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that was... Uh, oh, wait. We, <clears throat> st we still have a little more to do. <laughs> I was about to do the wrap it up. We're not at the wrap it up yet. Okay. We've defeated the boss. Yep, boss gone. All right, so this stuff is going away. Uh, we keep our salves. Move these things out of the way. We gotta do the shop. We gotta not. do the shop. All right, so we have thirty-seven gold, which goes up to forty. All right. I keep my parasite, or does that drop off? Uh, that will fall off. Nice. All the other status effects. Are going to be gone. <clears throat> so yeah, my last reject is Dottie. Add three damage attack modifier. Let me see what her card was because I sold that. Um, <clears throat> Dottie's diversion. This card may be played when you activate Dottie. If your opponents are inflicted with at least two coal, gain two CP. Additionally, if they are inflicted with at least four, you draw a card. So she just gives a little. Hmm. Will benefit to myself. All right, victory. Our shop is three common and one rare treasure each. So Sorry, we what was it? <laughs> uh, three common and one rare. So we draw those these ones, individually. Those ones we look at. Yes. So these are these are face three up. And one rare. Yep. I need my store card <coughs> somewhere right yeah. Rampus get out of here bro <laughs> all right um <coughs> so these ones are face up those are face up these ones go stay down yep Let's face up. Do we have any doubles? Oh, there's a there's a Santa one. Okay. 
I got double up two, bonus blow, prof, profith, pro, profeth, prof, Pro prophetic <laughs> orb. There you go. And then elven boots too. Okay. <clears throat> um, I got the bolus twice as wild two, blood pact and utility belt for my things. So we each have forty gold to spend. Um, mm -hmm. The common cards cost ten. The rare card costs fifteen. Unidentified cards that we have gained throughout the portal crawl cost 10 to identify. And you identify them and they can go in your deck immediately. So, I'm going to start <coughs> off with this epic spending 10 to identify this. It's getting paid 3. Aw oh, nice. yeah. A chosen player gains 3 CP. Sweet. That's good stuff. Hmm. I don't think I want utility belt. Cause you said that the gifts the gifts are unique. Yep. Uh, you can't take the only thing you can get from me is coal, and coal doesn't do anything for you. Alright. And I don't really want to spend two CP to gain one of my positive status effects. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, you, you generate them too fast, especially with your mythic ability. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Blood Pact. I feel like we're running on too low of health to want to have one of us take two damage for the other to draw two cards. Sure. Um, Twice Wild 2, pretty good. Bolus. Well, I don't know. Like, that's a nice card, but, like... Even basic minions come with two CP to just yeah not even worry about it. Yeah, I think I'll probably end up doing this, but I want to identify this rare first for two. Yeah. Transference three. Nice. Makes it cost free? makes it cost zero instead of two. That's nice. pretty good. Um, so I have twenty left. So that seems like 10 for this and 10 for that. Yeah. We'll do that. Identify this. Broken Sword. Legacy card. Cool. Now that we, we finished the game before, so we, we got this. Uh, equipment. Mm -hmm. Add plus 2 damage to all attacks while you have 6 or less health. You may remove this card from play to add 2 damage to a, cho to a chosen hero's attack. Nice. So you either add 2 or... Or you get a permanent two as long as you're under six health. Yep. That's all right. Oh, it's scary. Six health is scary. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then the other ten for twice as wild, too, for me. All right. So these are gone. Let's see what I get here. Um, <clears throat> so I did get a Santa one. I believe this is a Santa. Uh, bonus blow. You may spend an attack modifier status effect token on a teammate's attack. I think that's super situational um <clears throat> and what does it do then if you spend a oh you, you okay i see i can give you my plus two status of, or plus two attack modifier uh or attack modifier cards token it says token oh hmm. you may spend an attack modifier status effect token Okay. Teammates attack. So that's yeah, I don't know. So For a common, I get it. <clears throat> you'd, you'd have to have one first, right? And then mm. yeah, like I said, it's super situational. Yeah. Uh, prophetic orb is always good. That's, that's real good, but the base one costs a lot. <laughs> it does to yeah. get down. Um, elven boots. That's always good. And it's and it's instant, so you could not only gain two evasive, but then you can use them right away. Cost two though, right? Yep. <clears throat> Double up. We'll probably keep that. Um, let's do that one for sure. So that's ten. Um, why don't we identify our rare for ten? We're down to twenty. That was coin purse, baby. Nice. Oh man, that's good. I, I love coin purse. <clears throat> I have twenty gold, so I can either 
I think you're right. I think these are just... Elven Boots is good, but... That's 15 gold. You can also, remember, maybe sell... Just do... You can sell your unidentified loot for 5 gold apiece. Five. But I don't want these, so I think these are okay. just going to be... These are just gone. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do a com common first for 10. I okay. can still buy this. Yep. No, I can't. You could sell I the other. Can't. You could sell oh, the right. other yep. common yep. and get it. You're right. So let's see what this is. Life funnel. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> uh, Receive three undefendable damage, but then a chosen hero gains a salve. That's in my hand now, right? Or do I? That's. Get... It's in your deck. Yeah. <laughs> you can you can choose to not play it, um, but you can have it in your deck. Uh, you should you should still put it in your deck anyway because loot cards you can discard at any oh, time to right, draw a card. Right. That's right. So it's it's essentially a free spot in your deck. Sure. <clears throat> uh, what do I do here? So, so you could identify the common or you could sell the common and get the elven boots. I think I think boots we got to do it. I really want to see what the other thing is, though, but I can't. <laughs> Going back in. All right, I'm okay with boots. I like boots. Okay, so Life funnels, yeah. I mean, they're gonna re so you can still sell it for a CP, though, right? Uh, yeah, you can sell it for a CP, okay. or you can cycle it and just draw a replacement card. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, all right, so you had double up, double up two, um. And life funnel for common. Yep. And then rare um, was elven boots and coin purse. Elven boots two, and then coin purse. Coin purse, elven boots two. Okay. And then I got commons of broken sword and twice as wild. Uh, they didn't have to flip. <laughs> Did we get the play against them? It's funny that I I could have taken him out in one go. Transference three. I think what I'm going to do this time is before I used to just keep him in the back and like the loot that we didn't buy or didn't take, I put him in the back, flipped around so I wouldn't draw him again. But I think now I'm just going to shuffle him in. I think there's enough loot that I'm not really going to crossed twice. Mm. I I was thinking that for the minions and I would like put the minion back and then you would go away for a thing and I'd shuffle the minions and then reveal and it was <laughs> the one that I put back in even though I had been shuffling for a bit. Um all right, so I have two salves left. You have two salves left? Right? Uh yes. Yep. Okay. Uh we have no unspent gold and we did not explore all the tiles. Okay. So we are at 34 points so far. Uh, nice. I put us as, <clears throat> in here as Team Christmas Spirits. Um, and the app does not have Santa and Krampus yet. So uh, as long as we don't pull one of those promo cards, uh, we can still be using this legitimately. Sure, sure. <clears throat> All right. Well, that's it for this uh, run. We will be back next time for another video and the first the first boss. So thank you for hanging in there and watching. And uh, you welcome can, back. Well, yeah, we are <laughs> we are back. So exciting. Uh, so you can you can follow me here on Rulebook Rundown stuff and uh, Twitch.tv/cloudart, and he is Twitch.tv/blunderbutt. And we'll have that in the And I have a TikTok notes. now. He's got a TikTok. I TikTok. He, I feel young. He is hip <laughs> with TikTok. <laughs> I T now hang out with the cool kids. Yep. Uh, TikTok. What yep. is it? Is it so, at? Is it an at symbol? At Blunderbutt? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't. Dice are on those because they have the first ones to follow me. There you go. Winning. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, and we'll catch you next time. See ya.